Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So our uh, cows are enjoying the hay that we just unrolled here and uh, they're enjoying it here, they're enjoying their little salt lick over there, and of course the hay here. And specifically that's what I want to talk to you about today and it's hay, right? So um, as some of you guys may know or not, uh, we do rotational grazing here and we're trying to follow regenerative agriculture where we rotate these cows um, on a daily basis or every other day or so. But well, we try to get them around our, um, our whole fa uh, farm and homestead. And so we uh, rotationally graze through a pasture and then segment each particular uh, area out uh, every day so they can go through it. And, um, and the grass will stay healthy and regrow and our cattle will be, uh, will be happy, right? Because they're getting uh, what uh, some people call a, a new salad every day. So anyway, these are some of the new lines or, or new paddocks we've, we've made that we're going to move into. But I want to show you something that uh, we did, excuse the camera work, um, for the last few weeks because we've had extraordinarily cold weather here in the Ozarks. And uh, we had conditions where we had uh, lots of snowfall, like uh, over a foot, and, and we've even had um, icicles and, and ice and black ice all over the place. And so that's what kind of happened in, in a few weeks ago, and they were in this area. And so what I want to show you is this guy right here. And this is kind of a no-no in terms of uh, the guys who um, do rotational grazing like us. So what happened was it was so cold and icy that our bales froze, and so we couldn't unroll them. And so whether you're using one of these uh, manual unrollers like the Greg Judy type, or a hydraulic un unroller, uh, hay rollers, um, you may not be able to unroll it. And so unfortunately, you're gonna have to just let it on the ground and uh, let the cows eat it. But this is the effect you get. You get this kind of uh, circle of death or ring of death kind of effect right here. And the reason is because even though we have lighter cows, not the big old Angus cows that weigh over 2,000 pounds or a ton, uh, we have lighter cows that, you know, averages out to about a, a thousand, I mean, about 1,200 pounds, something like that, right? So, at any rate, they do a lot uh, less destruction on the grass, and, um, and, uh, and so, yeah, I mean, you don't destroy all that uh, grass root network and things like that, but if you leave your pile of hay or just a whole roll of it, this is what you end up getting. And so, yeah, this is something you want to avoid. Obviously, sometimes you can't, right? Because the bale wouldn't unroll. But at any rate, this is what you want to uh, avoid because take a look at this. The most valuable resource we have here on our property, pasture-wise, is this stuff right here. And that's the grass, right? And so whether it's fescue or summer grass or whatever or clover, that's what you want to maintain. That's what you want to grow. I mean, the, 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 the cows and the beef you obtain from it is really the benefit you get from doing this. So you want to become a grass farmer and you can see some nice grass starting to come back in this really cold weather. And, uh, and this is what you want to avoid, this kind of ring of death thing. But all is not lost. Grass will eventually come back. And uh, in terms of uh, you know the hay that's there, it's, it is still providing covering. And ultimately there are seeds in there that will reseed this whole area with grass. But, once again, avoid this if you can. Um, don't just drop your bale of, of, um, of hay somewhere where the cows will have to go and rummage around it and destroy kind of the area around it. What you want to do is roll it out like we have over here. Uh, let me show you that again. And then where you have cows that are happy. Alrighty, shalom.